right good morning good afternoon good night it's to your favorite online tutor photon also known as the light i like to commence this video by saying a very big thank you to my fans out there and those of you who have been part of the photonic family supporting me all the way liking my videos sharing my videos and for those of you who might be watching us for the very first time this is photon also known as photon the light aka the shortcut master <laughs> okay without wasting much time i'd like us to go straight to today's business now and for those of you who are actually joining us for the very first time please do not forget to subscribe to this channel look beneath the video you're going to see a subscribe button hit the button hit the notification bell out there and sit back and voila you're going to be learning extraordinary things that are going to make you extraordinarily different from every other person out there i've actually been seeing a lot of messages and i told myself I think this is the time to, you know, give a reply to these messages because it is beginning to confirm that people out there are actually looking for this. And it has to do with the shortcut for the multiplication table. Today, I'm going to be showing you a shortcut for your multiplication table from number two down to nine. I'm going to be starting with the very first, the two times table. Now, I could remember back then when I was young, <laughs> it was more of like singing in classes because we couldn't remember these values yet. So, how do I remember 2 times 1 to 2 times 10? And the first thing you're going to do is draw a rectangular box, okay? You're going to divide this rectangular box into two parts. And you're going to do this 1, 2, 3, and 4. That is four vertical lines and three horizontal lines. And when you count them, you have one, two, three, four, five. So the first thing is called the first row, and this is called the second row. So how do I get my two times one to ten? I start by writing zeros at the top and two at the bottom. But before I do this, we have what we call the odd numbers and the even numbers. So I'm going to start with this, place a two here. Place a 4, place a 6, place a 8, and place a 0 here. The first thing you did to the top, you're going to also be doing it to the bottom. Place a 2, place a 4, place a 6, place a 8, and place a 0. Now, what do I do to finish up the simple shortcuts? I'll simply start this and laugh. But the next thing is about to shock you. The next thing you do is to say 0, 0. 0, 0, and for the last value here, 1. You come to the next verse and you say 1, 1, 1, 1, and for the last value you say 2, and that's it. There you have it. Shortcut of getting your 2 times. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 7 is 14, 2 times 8 is 16, 2 times 9 is 18, and 2 times 10 is 20. Indeed. So let's get back to business. I am very sure many of you played this game. Over here in my country, we call it X and O. But the actual name is called the Tic Tac Games, where you have your X and someone places an O, plays an X and someone places an O, you place an X and someone places an O, and the person... Now, you place 1 and 2. You place 1 and 2. Do not forget, we are trying to get 3 times 1 to 3 times 10. Now, how do I get these values? You're going to come to the last box here. You're going to place 1. And you go all the way to the top. 2, 3. You come to the next one. 4, 5, 6. You go to the last one. 7, 8, 9. And place a 0 outside. Now that you've successfully done this, the next thing you're going to do is come to the first row and say 0, 0, and 0. You go to the next row, 1, 1, and 1. You go to the final row, 2, 2, and 2. And after 2, you have your 3 to support the 0 outside. It has no room. Okay, so let's get back. This 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 7 is 21, 3 times 8 is 24, 
3 times 9 is 27 and 3 times 10 is 30. These tricks are very, very simple to learn and fun to practice. So we quickly, we quickly, so we quickly get to the four times. We've learned two times, we've learned three times, and it's time to learn the four times. Now, to be honest, if there is one particular value that is actually giving me a problem, it has to do with the four times. You know, I've tried so many methods in trying to get this right until I discovered something that works perfectly. So how do I remember my four times one to four times 10? I'm simply going to do this. This is the letter M in our alphabet. And I'm also going to do this. This is another letter M in our alphabet. Now a two, because sometimes we don't recognize zero. We'll place a four, plus a six, plus a eight, and plus a zero here. We do the same thing here, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0. Now, since you've done this, the next thing is to look deeper and play around the way we did with the two times. Okay, so the first part, which is the values on the top, you place a 0 and a 0. You go to the values at the bottom, you place 1, you place 1, and you round it up with two. You go to the next letter M at the top, you place two, you place two, making a 28 here. And finally, you go to the letters beneath. You place three, you place three, and you place four. Now, if you notice, one and six, and when it got to zero, one became two. The same thing happened here, three and four. When it got to zero, three became four. And there you have it. Four times one to four times ten, easily. Four times one is four. Four times two is eight. Four times three is twelve. Four times four is sixteen. Four times five is twenty. Four times six is twenty-four. Sorry, sorry. We need to go about this again. Sometimes I get ordinary. So let's go again. Four times one is four. Four times two is eight. 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 6 is 24, 4 times 7 is 28, 4 times 8 is 32, 4 times 9 is 36, and finally 4 times 10 is 40, and there you have it. So how do I get my 5 times 1 to 5 times 10? Easy. Now this is what you do if you remember when we did the 2 times. We're going to be using the same method as what we used in the 2 times table for the five times table, but this time around is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to draw our rectangular box like we did before and divide it into two parts. And you write one, two, three, and four, giving us five boxes each at the top and at the bottom. Now, how do we arrange our boxes? in order to give us the magic we're trying to get here. So you start by doing this, you write five, zero, five, zero, five, zero, five, zero, five, and zero. And now that you've gotten this, there is one more step. You come back to what you've done before, starting from the very beginning, and you do this, zero, you're going to be writing the numbers twice. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. And of course, there's only one here, so we're going to write the last one. Five. And voila! There you have it. A short cut to five times. Five times one is five. Five times two is ten. Five times three is fifteen. Five times four is twenty. Five times five is twenty-five. Five times six is thirty. 5 times 7 is 35, 5 times 8 is 40, 5 times 9 is 45, and 5 times 10 is 50. So we are going from 6 times 1 to 6 times 10, so I write 6 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and finally 10. So how do I get my 6 times 1 to 6 times 10? Now, there are two values here that we know the answer already. 
and that first value is six times one. We all know it's six. You don't need any soothsayer to tell you that. And the last value is six times ten. We all know it's sixty. So these two values are very easy to remember. So now, how do we fill the remaining values? Now, watch this. It's a very, very, very expensive trick. The last value here being two, you write two. Then you find half of two. Half of two is what? One. This only works for the even numbers, not the odd numbers. So three is an odd number. You skip it. Four is even. You write four. Half of four is two. You skip five. You go to six, which is an even number. You write six. Half of six is three. You skip seven. You go to eight, another even number. You write eight. Half of eight is four. Now you've gotten the answers for the respective even numbers. So how do we now get the answers for the odd numbers? Very easy. Just add 6 to the even numbers. This is 12. 12 plus 6 gives us 18. And that will be the answer for the next one. This is 24. 24 plus 6 will give us 30. And that will be the answer for the next one. This is 36. 36 plus 6 will give us 42. And that will be the answer for the other one. And this is 48. 48 plus 6 will give us 54. And that will be the answer for this. And there you have it. 6 times 1 is 6. Times 2 is 12. Times, six, uh, times 3 is 18. Times 4 is 24. Times 5 is 30. Times 6 is 36. Times 7 is 42. Times 8 is 48. Times 9 is 54. And 6 times 10 is 60. Like I said, it's a journey we have to conclude. So at this point, we're going to be looking at the seven times. Now, what is the secret behind the shortcut for the seven times? It's the same method as how we got the three times. And something is going to change this time around. So, or rather, remember we did that using a tic-tac game, the X and the O. And when we were doing the three times, we started from one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. This time around, for your seven times, you're going to be starting from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And you know after nine, there's a zero attached to it at the outside. So at this point, you say zero, one, two. For the first row, two, three, four. For the second row, four, five, six for the third row and seven outside and there you have it the shortcut for seven times seven times one is seven seven times three is fourteen seven times three is twenty one seven times four is twenty eight seven times five you know that's thirty five seven times six is forty two seven times seven is forty nine seven times eight is fifty six seven times nine is sixty three and 7 times 10 is 70. 6 times 1 to my 8 times 10. Very easy. The same way you did your 6 times is the same way you're going to do your 8 times. 8 times 1. 8 times 2. Times 3. Times 4. Times 5. 6. 7. 8. 9. And 10. So after doing this. We're going to concentrate on the even numbers, okay? Starting from 8, then you go downwards. 6, 4, 2, 0. You repeat the same thing. 8, 6, 4, 2, and 0. You go back again to the top and say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Whenever you have this zero here, you repeat the number before zero. And that number happens to be four. So you write four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can go on and on with 11, 12, 15, 14. Okay, watch this 11. Let's quickly add 11. You know, we stopped at zero, so we start from eight. And after eight, what do you have? Nine. And that gives you 98. And it keeps going on and on and on. It's a trick that works. It doesn't fail, okay? So 8 times 1 is 8 times 2, 16 times 3, 24 times 4, 32 times 5, 40. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 8, 64. 8 times 9, 72. And 8 times 10, 80. My special, the 9 times. I call it my special because I discovered, should I call it an African trick? 
an alternative method of getting the shortcut. So this is what you do for your nine times. You write nine times one, the same trick with your two times and your eight times. Nine times two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So what we do in this case, I call it the easiest. Come on. What we're about to do will tell you why I call it the easiest. So you write, watch this. You start from nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. We started from the top nine and we ended at zero. Now we're going to start from the bottom and we're going to end at the top. So we ended at zero. Now we're starting with nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and zero and there you have it again nine times one is nine nine times two is 18 nine times three is 27 nine times four is 36 nine times five is 45 nine times six is 54 nine times seven is 63 nine times eight is 72 nine times nine is 81 and nine times 10 is 90. wow what a journey from two times to nine times there you have it and i'm very very sure that if you truly got something for this video all you need to do i'm not asking you to pay simply hit the like button share this videos to your friend let this video go viral i want more and more people to tap into this grace mathematics is not difficult there are tricks and there are principles that can be applied and math is going to be fun i'm not caught foot on the light for nothing there's a reason why i was given this name so i thought i was going to give you a bonus right let me quickly step into the center of the word so you have to concentrate on me now the bonus I'm giving you is for nine times now. We have ten fingers, okay? This is what you do. Nine times one is nine. Nine times one. You pick the first finger, you bring it down. How many fingers are left? Nine fingers. That's the answer on the board. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> so nine times two is 18. So we go one, two. You bring it down. You have one fingers here. And you have eight on the other side. One and eight gives us 18. The next value. Nine times three is 27. One, two, three. You bring it down. One and two. And on the other side, seven. 27. 27. The same way nine times four. One, two, three, four. 36. 36 9 times 5 1 2 3 4 5 45 45 9 times 6 this is the sixth finger 54 54 9 times 7 63 63 9 times 8 72 72 9 times 9 81 81 funny you know there's no nine times ten and this is why i call it an end i had to make this video in the dead hours of the night because i just couldn't disappoint my fans out there so i appeal to all of you subscribe the button below hit the notification button like this video share this video and that is all i request from you so we'll meet again in our next video i remain put on the light be good stay care Thank you very much. I'm out.